Hi, my name is Dana, and I'm with Austin Opera, and I am so excited to share this series with you called And They Lived Happily Ever After, all about fairy tale operas and how they relate to us. Welcome friends, we're so glad you're here with us today in our Austin Opera classroom. In just a moment, we are going to share with you our version of Engelbert Humperdinck's opera, Hansel and Gretel. As you may already know, Hansel and Gretel is a very famous story in children's literature. But what exactly is it? Is it a folk tale? Is it a fairy tale? Or is it a fable? Sometimes it can be a bit confusing to know which one is which. Folk tales are stories that are passed on through different families and cultures. They become well known through repeated storytelling and tradition. Examples of folk tales are The Boy Who Cried Wolf and The Pied Piper. Fairy tales begin with Once Upon a Time. They feature good versus evil characters and plot lines, and they have a happy ending. Examples of fairy tales are Beauty and the Beast, Puss in Boots, and Cinderella. Fables are stories that always teach a moral or a life lesson, and the characters often have talking animals. Examples of fables are the country mouse and the city mouse, and the tortoise and the hare. My challenge for you is to watch our performance of Hansel and Gretel and decide which genre you believe Hansel and Gretel falls into. Is it a folk tale, a fairy tale, or a fable? At the end of the performance, we'll reveal the answer. And now my friends, without further ado, I sincerely hope you enjoy our performance of Engelbert Humperdinck's Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, there lived a brother and sister, Hansel and Gretel. They lived in a tiny house in a tiny town in the mountains of Germany. High on a hill was a lonely goat herd, lay on 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 lay Brunhilde, yes, hi. Uh, this video is about Hansel and Gretel, not the sound of music. Oh, sorry. Their parents worked hard, selling brooms to make ends meet, but their family had not had a good meal for many days. Hansel and Gretel are at home doing chores while their parents are out selling brooms. Gretel is cleaning. But Hansel is so hungry that he can't focus. How do you feel about doing your chores? Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't like them either. And I think Hansel and Gretel feel the same as you. Plus, it's hard to do chores when you feel so hungry. Hmm, ain't that the truth. Gretel teaches Hansel a dance to distract them from their hunger. Their distraction is working. They have fun twirling and spinning lose their balance and fall down. Brother dancer, step for two, both my hands I offer you. Right foot first, left foot thin, round about and back again. With your foot you tap, 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 with your hands you clap, clap, clap. Right foot first, left foot thin, round about and back again. With your foot you tap, 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 tap. At that exact moment, though, their mother comes home, frustrated that she didn't sell her brooms. She finds Hansel and Gretel on the floor laughing. Angry, she accidentally knocks a bowl of cream onto the floor ruining their only supper. Even more furious now, Mother angrily pushes them out into the forest to pick berries. In the woods, Hansel and Gretel happily collect their berries. Perhaps too happily. They're so hungry they end up eating all the berries they collected. 
I mean, they are kids after all, and they're super hungry. The children are suddenly distracted by strange and spooky noises in the forest. <laughs> The sun has set and it's beginning to get dark. The children are lost. They begin to get really scared and even panic when they see a figure coming closer. It's the Sandman. The Sandman, a kind man, sprinkles magical sand in the children's eyes, calming them and helping them feel sleepy. Hansel and Gretel reassure one another by singing their nightly prayer and go to sleep in the forest. Hansel and Gretel see a house made of gingerbread, shining in the rays of the rising sun. They are amazed and can't believe their eyes. Can they resist taking a bite? Let's find out.
resist taking a little nibble of the gingerbread house, and suddenly a witch appears, startles Hansel and Gretel, and then tries to lure them inside her house with goodies. Hansel and Gretel don't trust her, and they try to escape, but the witch casts a spell over them.
she shuts Hansel up in a cage and feeds him sweets to fatten him up with plans to pop both Hansel and Gretel in the oven for her to eat. I'm sorry, what? Hansel and Gretel, although terrified, are resourceful and work together to outwit the witch. The evil witch tells Hansel to stick his finger out of the cage to check if he is now plump enough to eat. Hansel cleverly pokes out a small, thin bone instead of his finger. Next, Gretel secretly takes the witch's wand when she's not looking and casts a spell to free Hansel from the cage. Then, the witch tries to trick Gretel into the oven to see if the gingerbread is ready. But Gretel turns the tables and tricks the witch. The two children shove her into the oven bang the door shut, and dance around gleefully. Then one little push back, close my door pain. And when you wait for me, just start to cheer. Hansel and Gretel are reunited with their parents. The gingerbread children are freed and all rejoice and give thanks. We have won! Let's have some fun! Fun, 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 fun! Let's have some fun! We have won! Let's have some fun! We have won! Let's have some fun! The end. And now for our big reveal. If you guessed Hansel and Gretel is a fairy tale, you're correct. And why is it a fairy tale? Well, it begins with Once Upon a Time. It features good versus evil characters like Hansel and Gretel and an evil witch and has a happy ending. All the gingerbread children become boys and girls again and Hansel and Gretel save the day and are reunited with their parents. Thanks for joining us today. 